Hi guys, and welcome to Total Technic. Today we're working on the Audi RS6 with the BCY engine. This is the uh, C5 platform, and we're focusing in particular uh, to the gearbox and how to disconnect the, uh, the gearbox from the engine. Um, but before we get stuck into that, one thing to, uh, to note quickly is that to remove the gearbox from the RS6, unfortunately, uh, as per the Audi workshop manual, it has to come out with the engine. So you have to do a complete engine removal uh, to get the gearbox out of this car. So it is quite involved. Uh, however, we have done a, uh, we are, are producing a, a complete uh, BCY engine removal video. And we'll add links for you below this video on YouTube. If you scroll down, check out the uh, information section. Uh, there'll be links for you on the complete engine removal video should you require that. Uh, but for the meantime, we're going to show you how to disconnect the uh, the gearbox uh, from the engine. Uh, but like I say, it's not going to be much use to you until the gearbox is removed from the car. So be sure to check that video out. And this is how we uh, disconnect the gearbox. Okay, so if we have a look where the oil filter is, if you come down below the oil filter, uh, I've got my uh, tool just on the head of a bolt here, just so that you can see it down in that gap there. Uh, this is a size uh, hex, uh, size 8, uh, this one here. And this actually connects the um, starter motor um, cable uh, and bracket uh, onto the bottom of the engine. So by removing this, we're um, essentially getting rid of the cable and slackening off the bracket for the starter motor. So this one's got to be removed next. Uh, so that bolt that we just removed for the starter motor is quite tight. Uh, so we had to uh, raise, the, uh, raise the engine up just to give us a bit more access. So whilst we're here with the engine raised up, we're also going to remove the uh, rear corner here. I've got this ATF pipe, and it's got a size 10, and a little bolt on that. Oily, oily fingers. You may have a second ATF pipe next to this one. Uh, we actually removed it uh, just to give us a bit more space to drop the engine between the legs of the uh, engine crane when we removed it earlier. There's a little bracket halfway down that connects the two together uh, if you need to do likewise. But you don't have to remove both of what we're doing now. And next, uh, you need to erase the gearbox off the floor a little bit. Uh, but assuming that you've done that, uh, we've got this ATF pipe here, uh, which runs to the gearbox, which is actually uh, bolted on this little bracket here, uh, onto the underside of the engine with a size 10. Uh, so we've got to get that uh, disconnected there uh, to, to allow us to uh, separate the engine and the gearbox. Uh, if you need to at this stage, you can remove the, uh, the oil filter. If you need to gain a bit, little bit more access for the uh, starter motor, uh, which is going to be uh, the next kind of thing that we're taking out. Uh, obviously, we're prepared with a drip tray because obviously we're going to have uh, quite a lot of oil in there. Uh, that's going to give us a bit more access to the, uh, the starter motor in here, uh, which is uh, what we're going to be focusing on next. So for the uh, next stage at the bottom of the starter motor here is a size 16 uh, bolt just there. Uh, let's get that one removed. Next up for the starter motor, uh, we've got this one, which is kind of fa facing the uh, opposite direction. One we just took out was facing in this direction, facing forward. This one's going into it from the other direction, just here. Okay, so there's your uh, starter motor. We've got a couple of electrical connectors on the back. So those uh, need to be disconnected and then we can uh, get rid of this uh, starter motor completely. Uh, so let's do that now. Okay, so a couple of electrical connectors uh, in here. 
And the first one's uh, just like a little uh, spade connector. And the second one, uh, I'll prise that off in a second, there's a little nut in there. Um, as for the Audi Workshop manual, if you've you know, done this job 100% properly, uh, this should be disconnected. Technically, you could leave these two on and just put this to one side because, because it only takes you know 30 seconds to remove this. Now you've got this far, you might as well just pop it out and put it completely out of the way where it's safe so it doesn't get crushed. So worth doing, so disconnect that one and then we'll look at that one next. Let's look at 13. Just remove the, uh, the cable, just put that back on there for safekeeping. I'm going to get rid of that, put it safely out of the way. Job done. Okay, so this is a view looking into the hole um, for the torque converter of where you just removed your starter motor. This is where the tip of the starter motor is. Now if you zoom in a little bit, uh, that's what we're looking at there. Okay, now around the outside of the uh, torque converter there are several screws. Uh, they're in, uh, I think they're in pairs as memory serves. I think there's three sets around the outside of the torque converter. As we can see, we can't see those screws yet, um, but what we actually need to do is turn the, uh, the um, crankshaft to move the whole thing so that we can bring the, the first set of screws into, into line, if that makes any sense. Uh, this can be a bit of a two-man job. Uh, ideally, you want one person um, looking uh, in there for when the, uh, the screws appear and the other person kind of turning the, the crankshaft at the same time. You can do it with one person, it's just a bit of a fiddle if you've got someone who can give you a quick hand. Uh, yeah, that, that's only going to help you. Uh, so I'll show you the uh, the crankshaft end of the uh, the process next, and then we'll put the two together. Okay, so on the front of the engine here, you've got the crankshaft pulley, and to uh, to turn this, we're going to need a size 24, 24 millimeter, and this is a 12 point uh, socket. Okay, uh, you get these often in um, things like. Um, hub nut sets and things like that actually get hub, hub nuts that have got this, exactly the same sort of thing on there. So bang that on there and what you can do with a, with a breaker bar is you'll actually be able to turn it in this manner here uh, and what that will do is that will allow us to get to a point where we can see the, uh, see the bolts. So what we'll do is we'll continue to, uh, to turn that round now and hopefully we can get the bolts to a to appear. So let's try that now. Okay, so I, I believe you uh, should be able to see the uh, uh, the bolt there, uh, just one of the bolts, uh, they should be in twos, uh, but what we'll have to do is probably turn a little bit more to, to see the, uh, the second bolt there. So these are the two that we're going to be attacking, and the one thing to bear in mind is this is why you're going to need that second person, is if you just stick a, um, a, a tool in and try and undo those bolts, uh, you could end up spinning the um, at the crankshaft back again. So what you want to do is you have one person uh, stopping the uh, the crankshaft from moving and the other person can then attack the bolts. Uh, so let's give it a try. Okay so the uh, the nuts uh, that are inside the torque converter there, they're actually a spline bit, they're size 10. Uh, that's uh, that type of bit there. Okay so again the 12 pointed size 10. Uh, so that's what we're going to do is we're going to put that in uh, whilst the other person holds the, uh, the crankshaft uh, the breaker bar on the crankshaft still for us. So that's the uh, that's the bolt there, and uh, as we can see, uh, these are in pairs. Like I said, they're pretty sure that there's uh, there's three pairs around the outside. So what you're going to do is once you've got the two out of the way, you want to turn the um, you know you've got to turn the uh, crankshaft about one third of a circle, and that should bring the uh, the second ones into view. Um, so we're going to do that with uh, with all the pairs, which I believe is uh, three pairs on these. 
So next up, if you look underneath the gearbox, uh, you can see that there's uh, two bolts that connect the, uh, the gearbox and the engine together. Uh, they're both uh, kind of identical, equidistant pretty much, and they're both uh, size uh, 16s. Uh, so we'll get these removed next. So on the near side, uh, the opposite side, the opposite side to where you remove the starter motor, you've got a similar uh, bolt there to what we had in the starter motor. Uh, back to front one. Uh, get that one removed next. So we removed the uh, the lower bolts. Uh, so now we're going to concentrate on the uh, top bolts. So what we're going to do is drop the whole thing back down on the uh, on the ground again. Uh, so obviously we don't want them uh, kind of coming apart as we you know, putting excess strain as we uh, as we disconnect the top ones. Put it down on the floor and then disconnect the top ones. So with regards to the top bolts for the uh, engine and gearbox, uh, got one in there, as you can see just there, and then if you come around to the other side we've got a matching one uh, over on this side right here. If you follow it up, uh, tucked in just behind this uh, pipe there, you can just see it at the back there, there's another one there, and identically uh, just in that gap just at the back there you can see the, uh, the fourth one. Uh, poking out there as well. Uh, so these are the four that we need to get disconnected. Okay, next thing we want to uh, disconnect is this uh, this metal hose here. This is the one, that, if you follow that down, you'll find a hard um, a metal line just above the uh, oil filter there. It comes up into this bracket here and then comes across uh, into here. Uh, so what we want to do is just uh, unscrew that. It's a little uh, hex screw there, so get rid of that just to free that off. So we've got all of the uh, bolts removed uh, from around the outside of the gearbox. Uh, so in theory, let's give it a quick test. Yeah, you can see that the the, uh, the two are ready to uh, the two are ready to separate there. And there's a couple of different places you can uh, you can separate this. Uh, you can go in via the uh, the kind of cutout in the bell housing where the um, starter motor sits. You can sometimes push it out from the back. Uh, otherwise you can kind of uh, wiggle the gearbox forward a little bit, sometimes you might want to raise the uh, the engine up a little bit on the crane and just wobble the uh, the gearbox forward and then once you've kind of created a gap uh, between the uh, between the gearbox and the engine and once you've got a little bit of a gap there you can put a, a pry bar in and open it up a little bit on that side then the other side and alternate between the two and eventually the two will separate. Uh, so be a little bit careful so if you've got the torque converter in the middle um, when these kind of come apart you don't want anything kind of uh, falling out or, or going funny so d take, take your time with it don't rip it off uh, these are you know, big heavy things you know, work safely uh, but with a bit of manipulation uh, we're going to get these apart uh, hopefully without too much trauma
Okay, quick example for you. Uh, as you can see, we've got quite a big, uh, nice gap in here now. Uh, so we are at the point where they're almost going to uh, to come apart. Uh, but for any reason you've hit resistance, uh, as I have, don't keep forcing it, don't keep forcing it. Have a look round and try and see what's uh, catching. So you see here, uh, I've got this uh, metal hose here, and it's just um, caught uh, underneath this little bracket here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, uh, lift the engine just a little bit just to free that off. Uh, but like I say, if you do get any resistance when you're trying to separate the two, um, try and kind of find out where it is rather than force anything. Uh, so look out for little things like that. And there we go. That is your uh, engine and gearbox uh, completely separated. So once you've got your gearbox uh, disconnected from your engine, uh, this is what you're going to see. You see the torque converter uh, sat quite happily in here. Uh, you can see dotted around the edge, uh, you've got these three sets, three pairs of uh, bolt holes. These are where those little spline uh, nuts, uh, bolts went through and connected in that we went uh, attacked from the uh, bell housing uh, to get to this stage. So there's your torque converter. Now in theory, we should just be able to grab this thing and just slide it straight out of the housing. So we'll give that a little quick try now. So there we go. There's your torque converter, and there's the uh, the inside of the gearbox. So you can look at that for reference as well. But that is your uh, your torque converter uh, completely removed and ready to go.